hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today in this video i'm going to show you the ibk color master gizmo inside nuke okay so as you can see i have this basic com structure here so so the point of this tutorial i want to show you this tool this ibk color master uh, this is made by one of my friend shubham so if you remember my king tutorial series in that one i show you uh, that tool ibk color master version 1 so i basically show you how you can easily get your soft key without uh, uh, stacking bunch of ibk color this one is the uh, latest version so this is he upgraded some some improvement and some optimization and some very cool uh, features also so we will take a look at the uh, this uh, tool in this video first thing i will provide you this download link uh, so you can download this ipk color master version 3 as you can see and it have a lot of cool features so i will show you all the settings and what is so as you can see it basically replacing all this ibk stacking with this uh, just one node so it's pretty good and we check this ibk stacking this is very uh, memory intensive i mean it's taking a lot of your uh, hardware power uh, instead of this one this is very light it's really fast i mean uh, if you compare with this ibk color this one is really fast so as you can see uh, once you install this gizmo if you go your key tab you will see in the bottom you will see ibk color master is there so you just have to click this one and this is the tool connecting one pipe here and i will show you what is this all about and just making angle okay so as you can see once i connect this one so it will basically showing me this one so this is like uh, we are adding a first ibk color so this is this and this is the default setting as you can see just like we are doing we have to do a similar kind of uh, light and dark and so in this one i'm just adding a erode of two in this one we have this main setting called this uh, patch steps and patch roughly and view without patch so if you click this one i will show you what does that mean and uh, we have this uh, enable mask input and crop and overscan and we have this very cool button create ibk gizmos let's first see all the settings and then we will we will see this ibk gizmo button in this one i'm just adding a erode of two and this is a patch step basically so what does that mean it's same as we are adding a ibk stacking and then we are just keep adding more and more to fill the whole screen so this is the usual way we are doing and we are filling like this and we are completely removing the character and now we have a clean tip but in this tool you can't go above 10 see you can't go above 10 it's only allowing you 10 only 10 is available and if you open this tool so if you open this tool it's basically a python loop so if i reduce this one like one two as you can see it's just repeating this thing and it's not ibk color basically like a similar stuff but with this uh, nuke nodes so it's very lightweight uh, if you stacking them bunch of time it will get uh, really memory intensive so for that optimization what he basically did he did very cool idea let's let's check the plate first of all then we will understand what what i'm talking about so as you can see this is the motion blur area i only want my soft edges till maybe here so i want only soft edge till here i mean like from here to here okay so if i go to the ibk color as you can see soft edge is not uh, i mean it's not looking if i remove this one so as you can see uh, i mean my soft edge is here okay last pixel so what i can do i can just add a patch one time two time and let's three time so i just need this much of thing and now at this point i don't need uh, to add mo more patch because then i can use this button patch roughly if i click this one so what is this happening uh, inside let's check and then we will understand so if i off this one as you can see it's basically doing edge extension using this last pixel i added a patch 3 so this is the patch 3 last pixel here so it's basically using this last pixel and doing edge extend and basically we are avoiding this stacking and we are avoiding all these things so what does that mean so basically we have a clean plate and we only care about this this stuff and this inside we are filling with the core key right so let's see and then i did everything here and then i can just create ibk and as you can see it will automatically creating ibk gizmo and now you have your rough key here so in this view you can easily visualize what is happening so if i remove this one patch roughly so as you can see if i do one so this is so as you can see if i increase as you can see now we are getting the soft edges here and we only want this 
feathering right inside we are filling with the core mat so we don't care about so what you can do you can just enable this one so it's basically edge extending it's very very cool idea to optimize uh, your keying and then it's very good we are getting all the soft edges and then you are filling inside so this is exactly what i did here as you can see and if i open this property as you can see i use the, i use only three if i off this one see only this much and then i use patch of leaf to fill the entire thing and then i add my core mat and as you can see so this is off and on so i have getting my soft edges using this uh, ibk as you can see this one and then this is my core mat i can i think erode more so as you can see now this is my soft and my core mat is on top so that's how you can get very easily and there are a lot of cool uh, stuff here if i open this one for this one so as you can see now you also have this mask input here so if i enable the mask input as you can see now we have uh, two masks so this one is the exclude mask and this one is the normal mask so let's see one by one so this exclude mask if i view view if i view here and if i enable if you click this one it will show you the your first ibk color i mean once you when you say when you uh, setting up this coloring thing this is dark and light it will show you this path if you enable it will show you final so this is very handy also and as you can see the color also changing it basically uh, giving you a warning that you left this button on so you just have to turn off this is also very good so i'm just connecting this mask exclude and if you check my plate i have this tan here so for some reason i want to remove i don't know but i'm just showing you so if i remove this one i want to fill everything with the green so if i view here and uh, let's on this one in use this one and as you can see now i completely remove this one if i remove this one as you can see i'm basically excluding this one this area and then i'm uh, filling this one with this uh, patch roughly okay and the similar thing you have this uh, mask option so this is a normal mask so if we connect this one for you my character so let's see if i did this one like that and by view so basically i'm just cutting this everything here but this is not the way you you have to use this one what you can do you can just connect this one here and uh, add this one here and just plus i mean you can just basically do your separate key here separate key and then you can basically add merge it here so so this is the mask input here this is just a normal mask so you can connect and use this one so by default the mask input is turned off as you can see the button is turned off so you can uh, enable uh, when you want to use and the other thing is you have this crop option so if you want uh, to crop this you can and and then you can add extra pixels here in this case let's see i want uh, 50 pixels so i can increase 50 pixels then i can good to go so it's very good it's very good tool as you can see the button is not here the button is gray out because i already have this one if i delete this one and this one so as you can see now i can create a new one i'm just selecting here and i'm creating new one as you can see now i have a whole setup here the ibk color and i just connect this one like this i can go to go and in this one i can uh, enable uh, luminance match so i can get better edges and then in the downstream i basically did so as you can see we are lifting this part so i have this roto here so i just garbage roto this one so i can just remove this part like that this is just normal despeel and pre mold and adding a background here and with the additive here so as you can see getting better key here just need to adjust the alpha and all that stuff this tool is very handy and it's very useful you can see uh, it's very good so this patch roughly is it's really saving your computer power and computer memory it's very good optimize it's better to use patch roughly without uh, this adding a steps because if you have a lot of hair that time you can use this patch roughly it's very good idea the basic idea of this patch roughly is once you uh, pass your threshold like i have a soft edge till here till here i have soft edge so you have to just use your patch step till here and after that you can use your patch roughly so it, it's basically optimization and it's very good what he did so i will provide you his link so you can go and download the link and try this tool here and try this tool with your own it will definitely save you a lot of times and personally i use this i, I use this tool and in that uh, king tutorial series i i also use this so you can check that out and 
if you have any questions about this tool you can directly ask to him or you can ask to me i will try to help you if you are facing any issues about about this tool and about the installation uh, you have to install it properly then it will come in your uh, key section as you can see it will show you here in the last try this tool it's it's free and it's very useful so thank you for watching and we will see you in a very next one have a great day